Hello friends, this video on reproduction in plants part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now since we saw that the male and the female reproductive organs are the most important parts of a flower, so let us spend some time to understand their structure in even more detail. So let us first talk about the male reproductive part that is the stamen. So what does it consist of? Let, let us have a look at that. So again stamen has three different parts, in fact two most important different parts. So let us look at them. Now before that, let me tell you one thing that in one plant there can be many stamens. It is not necessary that in a flower there has to be only one stamen. As you can see in this picture here only one, two, three, four. You have three, four stamens. So there can be multiple stamens in a flower. So the first part of the stamen is the filament which is a stalk that bears anthers. So stalk this tube like structure and it bears anthers. So anthers are these parts. So this is the filament. The next part is the anther. What is anther? This part is anther. The yellow colored structure which you see here that is anther. And if you look at the structure of the anther in even more detail, it is a bilobed structure. That means it has two lobes. The structure has two different lobes. You can consider it has two different compartments. Like inside your house, you have two different rooms. They are partitioned from each other. Similarly, inside this anther, you have two lobes or two compartments which are partitioned from each other. And each lobe contains four pollen sacs. So this is how the structure looks like. So if you see here, they, these are the two lobes, as you can see. As I said, the anther is bilobed structure, so one and two. These are the two lobes of anther. And in each lobe, you have two pollen sacs. So one, two, again one, two. So total there are four pollen sacs. And what are these pollen sacs? Inside these pollen sacs are present the pollen grains. And what are pollen grains? Pollen grains are nothing but the male gametes. Pollen grains contain the male gametes, right? So we are interested mainly in the pollen grains because they are actually going to help in the process of reproduction, right? So here you can see these are the pollen sacs, correct? And these two are the two lobes or the bilobed anther. So this is how the bilobed anther looks like. So what are these two pictures? So this, this one which you see here, this is the ventral look. So when you look it from the front, so from front the stamen would look something like this and from back this would look something like this. So from back you see the pink colored structure is not really seen much. So you only get to see the two lobes but when you look it from front this is how it looks. And what is this pink color? So this pink color is nothing but a connective tissue, connective that connects the two lobes of the anther, that is the third part. So basically this is the filament, these are the anthers and this is the connective which connects the two lobes of the anther. So now we got to know that where exactly are these pollen grains stored. So whenever you talk about a flower, inside the flower you will have the stamens. In the stamens you will have anthers. Inside the anther you will have the pollen sacs. And inside the pollen sacs you will have the pollen grains. So that's how the structure of stamen. Now let us look at the structure of the female reproductive part that is carpal. So where is carpal? This is the carpal. So this central structure which you see which is again swollen at the bottom and a tube like structure above that. So carpal also consists of three important parts. So again let's talk about the parts of carpal. So the, the important parts of carpal are style. So this tube like structure is called style and this swollen structure at the bottom is the ovary and this little bit swollen structure at the top of the style is called stigma. So stigma, style and ovary are the three important parts of the carpal. So let us look at their functions and what do they do. So let us start with ovary because ovary is the most crucial part. So you see here I have a detailed diagram. So you see this entire swollen bottom is called ovary and inside the ovary you again have another structure that is called ovule. So ovary is the basal enclosed part of carpal because since it is located at the base that is by basal. 
so this is ovary ovarian cavity is termed as locule so the entire cavity so the entire space which is present inside the ovary that cavity is known as locule so that is the term given to the ovarian cavity like how in our uh, in, in our body inside our mouth we have the oral cavity inside the nose we have the nasal cavity similarly inside the ovary of a flower you have the ovarian cavity which is called locule it encloses ovule in it so in this ovarian cavity you have the ovules so you see this is the ovule so inside one ovary there can exist one ovule inside one ovary there can exist many ovules so it depends and inside each ovule you have the female gamete so basically this is the ovule now in this picture inside one ovary you have just one ovule but in many cases inside one ovary you can also have multiple ovules and inside the ovules are present the female gametes which are called ovum as you can see here so here you see the structures now i will not get into the details of these structures because when you uh, go to your higher classes you will get to know what are these structures like there are two types of structures ovum is also present uh, po uh, polar nuclei are also present so we will talk about that in higher classes so for now you just remember that inside the ovule you have the female gametes so the female gametes are present inside the ovule so now in case of the male reproductive part where is the male gamete present inside the pollen sacs and in case of female the female gametes are present inside the ovule so that that was the main thing which was of our concern which we wanted to know in order to understand the process of reproduction so ovules are attached to the cushion like structure called placenta so these ovules so if you see here this is the ovary inside the ovary you have ovule and the ovule is actually linked to a tissue like structure and this structure is called placenta now let us talk about the next structure which is style style is this tube like structure here so style connects the ovary with the stigma so this is the ovary and this is the stigma so ovary and stigma they are connected by this tube like structure called style and the third part is stigma which is located at the exposed end of style so you see here this is the exposed end that means this end of the tube is exposed to the outer environment so basically this is the receiving end for the ovary now for the process of reproduction to happen there has to be fusion between the male gamete and the female gamete so female gamete is inside here but where is the male gamete it is inside the pollen sacs which is present inside the stamen so from there the male gamete has to enter inside this because the male gametes can move so they will come here so the stigma will receive the male gamete and that is how they will enter and reach the female gamete and there the fusion between male and female gametes will take place so i am just trying to relate whatever we are learning right now so that was about the entire structure of a so we can say that this acts as the receptive surface for pollen grains because it receives pollen grains as i said just now thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again